In this how-to video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create covers in Trello, whether you want to use a color available in Trello or you want to create and upload a custom cover, I'm going to show you how to do it all. Hey y'all, I'm Kat. Biz coach and integrator for creatives, helping you make dreams and dailies happen. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing another Trello how to, and this time I want to show you how you can use customized covers or covers included inside of Trello. Before we get started though, I do want to let you know that I have my ultimate Trello template bundle available for you guys. It's 10 templates, 11 video trainings exclusively created for small business owners to help you get a jump start on organizing your business inside of Trello. So take a look at that ultimate Trello bundle. And while you're at it, you might as well grab the two free Trello templates that I have available for you too, so you can get organized today. Now I'm going to flip the screen because I want to show you exactly how you can use covers in Trello. And then I'm going to do a little Canva tutorial on how you can create your own custom Trello cover now. Hey y'all, welcome back. I have a screen share video here for you to show you how to use covers. So I have created a test board as well as several lists and cards on this board. Some of them have covers, some of them don't have covers. So first of all, let's talk about the difference between covers and labels. So covers will cover, as the name says, the entire card, whereas a label won't. So let me actually just create some here on list three for you that are just with labels so that you can visualize. So these have cards, or excuse me, these have covers. List one has custom covers, and we'll get into that here in just a minute. List two has covers that are inside of Trello. And then list three, let's put labels on it so that you can see the difference in what it looks like. It allows you, um, or excuse me, you cannot um, make it as long as the entire card. It's a short bit of color on the card. I like to use labels when it comes to my workflows. So if we go to the content planning template that I have, you can see I've got some labels here that allow me to either have a quick look at categories being used or see where we're at in the workflow process. So I prefer labels for this, whereas I want to use a cover almost as like a heading, like a big giant sticky note, right? Right at the top of these lists. It helps me to see the goal for the month. It helps me to see when sales are coming up. So this is just one way that you can use a cover to really help something stick out and stand out even more. So if I were um, to be on this board, okay, and we wanted to create a cover inside of Trello, let's use it here with card three. So I'm going to click that little pencil. I'm going to go down here to change cover. And then this is where it allows you to select from a color that's in Trello to upload your own image or to use one of their stock photos. I never use one of their stock photos. I'm just using one of their colors or uploading my own. So if I were to upload my own, I would click here and then it gives you the option to have it look like this, which it's card one right here. That's what this view is. Or to have it look like this, which is card two, where it's fully covering. So let's do this one just to show you. See, that's how it looks. It's resemblant to card one. Or we can click change cover and switch back to that view. So either way, it's highlighting the full card even more. Now, if you wanted to upload your own custom cover, that's what I did here on list one. Um, it, let's go ahead and go to card three. Let's do change cover, upload a cover image. I've got my images right here. So let's pick the pink one. And then it gives you a couple different options. It gives you the option to have it look just like this, which is like card one, okay? Or I could, whoops, I can click that pencil, click change cover. I could click over here for it to be fully covering the uh, card and like the text is in front of the cover. Um, and I can go with the darker image or the lighter 
uh, the lighter view. It, it gives you the option, no matter what um, you upload, it gives you the option for text color white or text color to be black. So if I did text color to be white, that's what it would look like here. Change cover, text color black, that's what it looks like there. So either way, really helpful for you when viewing the cards. I like to use the custom covers on some of my boards because it's really on brand. Um, I have those covers created that are in my brand colors. And so I just, it makes my heart happy <laughs> to see them on there. But obviously you can just use a color inside of Trello. Now, how do you create a custom car, or excuse me, a custom cover if you wanted to do that? So I have mine in Canva. So this is my Canva, um, my Canva covers. Now, I what you're gonna do is when you go to Canva, you are going to create a 300 by 50 design. So we're gonna go to create a design, custom size, 300 by 50. That is the design size that I have found to mimic what this size is. Um, I didn't want mine to be drastically bigger or smaller than what the standard can, or excuse me, the standard Trello cover color would be. So um, 300 by 50 is what I like the best. And then y'all, it's so easy. You just go to your colors and like I have my brand colors in here, but you could pick, you know, another color. It could be whatever you wanted. And then when you go to share, you just go to download. I don't download it, anything special. It's just a ping file. I download it and then I can upload it right into Trello. Incredibly easy to create it based on your brand colors so that your Trello can be a little bit more on brand for your business. And then utilizing covers can really help you to look strategically at the board and visualize all of the moving pieces of whatever board you're looking at that much better. I hope that tutorial was helpful as you are starting to dig into covers. If you have questions, let me know in the comments or if there's another Trello tutorial you'd like me to do, I'm all ears. I would love to do it. I'll see you guys next time.